Hi, my name is Dante Orsini. I'm the Vice President of Business Development for iLand. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about iLand cloud infrastructure. Uh, first of all, let me tell you who iLand is. iLand's been a, a global provider of co-location and IP services for the last 15 years. And in the last three years, we actually deployed a cloud infrastructure solution. And we've deployed that in five data centers across the United States and one in London. So if you take a look at our, our map of the United States here, we have a facility in Los Angeles, one in Dallas, one in Houston, one in Washington, D.C., one in Boston, as well as one in London. What I'd like to do is explain a little bit about how we've built out this cloud infrastructure and give you a little bit more granular details around the actual architecture, if I will. Starting off, imagine these cabinets being in any one of our cloud infrastructure locations across the country. We start off with our network. We've got redundant gigabit to 10 gigabit IP connections in each one of our facilities across the country. The key is that you're going to hear a, a mantra here and that there's no single point of failure. We use diverse paths to the internet, multiple carriers in each facility. So starting with the network and working our way down, we have redundant routers. Behind those redundant routers, we have redundant Cisco ASA series firewalls, followed by redundant switching infrastructure. That infrastructure leads us to a server farm. And we are a VMware cloud infrastructure provider, so we're talking about ESX hosts here. And you can imagine we're talking about redundant switching to the actual SAN fabric. We also have 24 by 7 security and operations in each one of our facilities. Now, what sets us apart from most cloud infrastructure providers is we have a, a rich background in co-location. We also provide co-location space in each one of these cloud infrastructure centers. This allows our customers to co-locate physical infrastructure and tie it into their cloud environment, whether that's a public you know, managed cloud by iLand or whether that is a, you know, a private cloud solution designed for companies to actually leverage the benefits of the cloud but have more control over that. There's always an element that includes physical infrastructure, whether we're talking about network devices or legacy infrastructure. But the idea is you have the ability to tie those into the virtual environment. Next up, we're going to talk a little bit about how we provide disaster recovery services in the cloud. And you know, we're going to show you uh, both a scenario where we leverage replicator as well as uh, converter for that. OK, let's talk about disaster recovery in the cloud. How can a business of any size take advantage of cloud infrastructure and, and really provide a cost-effective solution for disaster recovery? Let's face it, not all businesses have the resources, whether we're talking about you know, headcount or budget, to be able to build, maintain, and, and, and even grow a secondary site. It's very difficult. So the great news is, with leveraging the, you know, virtualization technologies as well as you know, cloud infrastructure approaches with companies like iLand, you can have a very effective solution that's managed. So let's talk about that for a second. Remember, we're signifying this cabinet as a pool of cabinets in one of iLand's cloud infrastructure centers. So let's talk about the cloud here briefly. But let's get down to our customer. This customer is going to be a small to medium-sized business. So let's say it's a typical environment. They've got a mix of physical and, and virtual machines. So in this case, they have a physical exchange server. And to protect this physical exchange server, we're going to leverage the Vision Core V Converter product. That's designed to actually convert this physical machine to a virtual workload and replicate it to the iLand cloud, where it can be recovered in the time of disaster. Now, from a virtual perspective, we have an ESX host, which is a typical host. You've got Active Directory, file services, SQL, and even a web application. To protect this, we're going to leverage the Vision Core V Replicator solution which is obviously designed to protect virtual workloads. Now, the first thing that iLand's engineering team will look at will be the network. We want to make sure that this customer has adequate IP connectivity. If for whatever reason they have compliance issues around IP connectivity and they, they require a point-to-point -point solution or maybe an MPLS type network solution, we obviously can accommodate that because we can leverage our co-location to tie those physical elements in. But let's assume for a second that IP is okay we're going to set up a site-to-site -site VPN going from their IPsec enabled device to the Cisco clusters that we have in front of our virtual environment. 
So now, the first thing that we do from a network perspective is we have to create two VLANs. One will be for production. This VLAN is designed to manage the replication back and forth. So it includes a replication management server, as well as a live Active Directory server. Once we've created this production VLAN, then we're going to create what we call a DR VLAN. Now the key here is to isolate both of them because we want to make sure that Active Directory can stay in sync with Active Directory here at the production site, but we also want to give the customer the ability to test this disaster recovery scenario. And that's one of the beauties of uh, the Vision Core suite is we can actually pause this replication and put it in test mode. So over here on the DR side, we've got our replicated workloads. Now you notice I'm holding another Active Directory icon here. Once we set this up, we'll actually set the replication and we'll replicate each server one at a time, whether it's virtual or whether it's physical. And once we've done that, it's time to actually test this environment. So to do this effectively, we'll actually clone this live AD instance from the production site. We'll pause the replication and we'll integrate it over here into the DR site. Now, you may be asking, that sounds great, you know, but what happens in the time of a disaster? Well, there's a couple things. One, we have to consider any you know, externally facing applications, like a web application. Rest assured that our networking team will work directly with our customer to make sure that we've set up all the proper IP addresses that are externally facing and create all the, the correct ports for the firewall. So we'll trunk these settings on this VLAN segment. So in the event of a disaster, this site can be brought up and nothing changes for everybody on this side. Now, in addition to this, what happens if this environment has some physical elements? Say a spam filter that's part of their, their actual deployment. Very simple. We can actually deploy that spam filter here in the iLand cloud infrastructure and make sure that it's trunked to the virtual you know, cloud infrastructure for this disaster recovery solution. And the other piece to keep in mind is when you talk about going live with these types of solutions, some people want an elegant way to handle the IP schemes, whether you're talking about backup DNS or whether you're talking something that's a little bit more elegant with global load balancing. Our team of engineers will work with the customer. We provide both options. So I appreciate your time. If you're looking for more information around these types of cost-effective solutions for DR, please take a look at our website. It's iLand.com. I -L and.com and if you notice our knowledge center in the upper right hand corner you can go to the document section and actually read a detailed paper about this called DR in the cloud that we collaborated with Vision Core on thanks again for your time and hope to see you soon